by the order of the great leader. We are here in Park Gorkola with all the different paid-for KGB agents walking around, making it seem like people of Russia are actually happy. Take a look. to the parks of Moscow. The full name of Park Gorkova is the Gorky Central Park of Culture and Leisure, and in 2019 it is 81 years old and occupies 300 acres of land. There are plenty of restaurants and cafes in the park, but I do not recommend the food from the food shacks. It is overpriced and sadly not too good compared to what you can get in other restaurants in the park. Oh, 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 Park Gorkova is located on the Krymsky Val, just across the Moskva River. It was planned by Konstantin Melnikov, a Soviet avant-garde architect. The area, which used to be just vegetable gardens and parks, turned into a waste dump in the 19th century. The area was then cleaned up by 1923, and in 1928, seven years after the Russian Civil War, Park Gorkova opened its doors. Getting to it is quite simple. You can use the metro system for 80 euro cents to arrive at the Park Kulture or Oktyabrskaya metro stations, the two stations closest to the park. You can also use the parking lot next to the main portal on the northeast entrance for 9 euro or find some free parking in the neighborhoods nearby if it actually exists. In 2011, the park underwent a major transformation which was headed by Sergei Kapkov. Illegally built objects and aging attractions were demolished. 2,000 square meters of new asphalt and 19,000 square meters of new lawns and flower beds were laid. The entrance became absolutely free, Wi-Fi coverage was added, monuments restored, ponds cleaned, and basically the whole park was renovated. I think I'm about to show you one of the most Russian things you could possibly, you could possibly see. So you see a beautiful park, flowers, a place to sit, very clean, very beautiful. And then there's a statue. And it's a statue of a girl in World War II era with a submachine gun, a Russian submachine gun. <laughs> I personally find it wonderful. The face of actual feminism, if you want to call it. A girl defending her homeland, defending all this beauty. All right, moving on. The park is beautiful and known worldwide for a variety of reasons. One of those reasons is the song Winds of Change by the Scorpions, and it was also mentioned several times in the House of Cards. 
It is portrayed as a dark, creepy, and dangerous place in the movie The Red Sparrow, which I couldn't finish due to its deeply sadistic obsession with the most outrageous Russian stereotypes ever concocted by Hollywood movie directors. In reality, this is a place where people eat, play sports, rollerblade, ride bicycles, relax, practice yoga, watch concerts, enjoy festivals, and generally enjoy life. In the winter, it gets transformed into a 15,000 square meter ice rink. And in this video, I have only shown you a fraction of this amazing place. There is still more to discover, like the massive and free salsa dancing that happens on the shore by the Moscow River. Mm -hmm. 